I'm here with Emmanuel El Matador Sanchez, ahead of Bell Tour 272 this Friday at Mohegan Sun. Happy fight week. And, um, you know, I don't know if you pay attention to any of your stats, um, if they matter to you, but you are tied for second most submission victories in the featherweight division. Uh, you're also tied for the second most appearances in divisional history. Do those mean anything to you? Do they hold any weight for you? That's the first time I've uh, discovered that. Thank you for telling me. You're welcome. Uh, wow. Uh, I feel like even coming off two losses, that's why I'm in the coming event for a reason. Mm -hmm. And also, when I looked at the rest of the card as well, too, wow, yeah, having the most fights out of all these guys in the promotion, it's, uh, it's something pretty big. So I'm, uh, I'm looking to make history. So this is what I want to have. I wanted to leave a legacy behind and be one of the greatest fighters to ever do it. Uh, not just at featherweight, but pound for pound and in the world. So. Uh, it's awesome being a household name for Bellator and being able to hold it down and go out and get my hand raised this Friday night and up that submission stat and up that win column. Yeah. Uh, so you mentioned a legacy that you're trying to leave behind. What does that legacy look like to you or what do you hope it will look like? Just to go down as one of the greatest to ever do it. Some of the biggest names that I grew up watching and one of the reasons that I got into this sport George St. Pierre, Anderson Silva, BJ Penn, Mighty Mouse, uh, Fedor, and I've had the pleasure to fight on the same card as Fedor too, so that's pretty historical, and go down as a goat. <laughs> yeah, that's how we gotta call him, right? Go, go down yeah. as a goat. So before my time is up, that's something that I wanna have, that I know I can help for the younger generation of teammates that I got, some stable mates that I got on the come up, who I know want to make it to this position as well. Right, I mean, you certainly train with some goats. I mean, yeah, you're on the too. same team as Pettis. He's on the card tonight. Do you guys, uh, you know, you must work with each other being on the same team. Um, how are those sparring rounds? How is that communication with each other? And how is it to be on the same card with a teammate? It's incredible. I've been training with Sergio since he was a teenager and seeing his growth and development over the years, helping him get ready for all his fights and him for me as well too. Likewise with Anthony, uh, I call it family business. So seeing those guys as not just idols and people you look up to but, and role models, but wanting to put up those same kind of stats as well too, for, uh, not just for us as individuals and as fighters, but for our team, for Roof Sports. So knowing we got such a, such a big, uh, I'm gonna call it like the 96 Bulls almost uh, like <laughs> roster uh, of just champs bringing home, bringing home gold. So that's what I want to do for myself as well too. Just bring my own strap home mm -hmm. and do the same for the rest of the guys as well too on the come up. And your next obstacle in front of you is Jeremy Kennedy, who you'll be facing on Friday night. Tell us a little bit about uh, how you studied him, if you did at all, and how do you see you getting that victory in two days? Uh, he brings everything to the table, so that's why it's going to make such an amazing fight. Uh, he's a tough Canuck, so I hope no one takes offense to that, but I love Canada, eh? So uh, <laughs> shout out to all my Canadians, always. I love Canada. But he throws down, so he brings it, and that's why it's going to be such an exciting fight. And seeing those holes in his game is where I know that I can capitalize on. And... As great as he is and as much experience as he has, I have just a little more. And I'm going to showcase that on Friday night, and that's why I'm going to get my hand raised. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Uh,